good day. I thought that's kind of what Jared said. He thought it was. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty clean today. Um, you know, I wasn't that fired up about Monday. You know, and today I thought it was better. You know, it's funny. Like I say all the time, you go watch the tape, and it's never as good as you think, or as bad as you think. And so, but but I thought it was pretty good today. I mean, I thought we. Uh, you know, what, what I'm starting to see that, that we need to see is, uh, you know, our defensive backs, I think, are getting better. You know, we've just, you know, guys, the coverage is a little tighter. Um, and that's encouraging. You know, we've, you know, we've got some guys receiver-wise that can make some good plays on the ball. And it's a little frustrating for those guys at times. They've got good coverage and somebody goes up and makes a really good play. And, you know, I know they get frustrated, but the coverage is tightening up a little bit, you know, and I think it continue to get tighter and tighter, which is encouraging. And, um, so I'm starting to see, you know, some guys do some good things. You know, Darius Allensworth, I've been impressed with. And I think he's just, I think he's grown up, and I think he's more physical and plays tougher and competes harder. And I think that's really the, when you sit down and you look at what makes a good cornerback, is a guy that can, competes hard and, and uh, is not afraid. And I think he's getting some confidence. And then, um, you know, Sed and, and Darius are both, I think, are, are making some improvement as well. And so that's encouraging. Deshaun Grace has done some good things out there as well. I mean, he's a guy that I think, um, you know, has worked himself into, into a, becoming a guy that can be a factor at that position. Um, so, you know, there's some encouraging things happening out there. What though, Rubens are in red uh, the past few Yeah, days. we're just going to leave him in there. He's got a little bit of a shoulder deal. He'll, he probably won't have a lot of contact uh, this, this spring. We'll try to, you know, bring him along, bring him along, get him comfortable, and then probably, you know, rehab him and it's nothing major it's just a little shoulder strain but you know we don't want him to injure it and, and have to miss spring ball he needs the reps if we're gonna if we're gonna stay with that change um, he needs the reps and a chance to improve and uh, so we, you're gonna continue to see him in red how about Jack Austin same thing he's got a little shoulder deal I mean it's nothing uh, I would expect he would be out of that when we come back after spring break what are you seeing out of uh, out of Copperich now that he's kind of been able to get at least some? You know, I haven't, yeah, I reps. haven't seen a whole lot yet. You know, it's still early. I mean, he's going to look good because he's going to going to have fresh legs a little bit, and, and uh, when he comes back, and he's a quick kid. But I haven't had a chance to see a whole lot yet, and, and uh, you know, anxious to see a little bit more on Friday, and then especially as we come back after after the break. When you guys have so many DBs in, in terms of the recruiting class that's going to come in, and then you also have so many guys that are that are injured and come back from injuries, does it make it tough to kind of assess what the defensive backfield is like right now? Well, it's like anything. you gotta you got to get the guys that are here practicing better. And, yeah. and as I said earlier, the encouraging thing is that I can see them improving. Yeah. And that's, that's encouraging. And so, you know, all the other stuff, I mean, they're not here. And so, you know, you worry about them when they get here. Um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how it plays out. But... Um, you know, I, I'm seeing improvement, and, and so that's that's what you want to see. Vic, uh, what, what kind of improvements have you seen out of Vic? Yeah, you know, man. <laughs> Those last two when runs. He, when he runs through the, when he gets through the, the line there, I mean, there's nobody really wants to see that guy running squared up right at him, you know. And, um, you know, just his deal is kind of what we, our team a little bit, bigger, faster, stronger, with more confidence, and just a better understanding of what he has to do to, to be good. And so, you know, those things, and I think he's running with his pads much lower. Um, you know, and as I said, just playing with some confidence. But he's, you know, like I said, you get that dude running through the line of scrimmage with a full head of steam. I mean, that's a pretty scary proposition for a defensive back. You're almost halfway through. Is there is there something you've seen that you would really like to focus on or address coming into this kind of the second half when you guys come back? Yeah, we talked about, you know, we talked a little bit about that today, just to continue to do the little things correctly. You know, we've, we've done a lot of teaching here and then, uh, we'll Friday will be a little bit more of team-based activity stuff. We'll, we'll you know put the ball down scrimmage, move the football, that type of stuff um, on Friday, and then um, you know and then we've got to you know continue to work situations. You know we'll work some situational stuff Friday. We'll work a four-minute offense and a two-minute offense, and and you know so a little bit more specific work uh, Friday, and then uh, you know and then have the break and then come back and kind of work toward that uh, end again. But, you know, we've, we've got we've to gotta still play a little bit more physical. I told those guys today, I just we, we've got to play a little more physical across the board as a football team. And I think, I think you know, we're improving on the little aspects that we need to improve at. But, but you know, we've just got to play tough, you know, and, and that's um, – we've certainly made some strides that way. But we've got to continue to do that and continue to, you know, to be physical in everything we do. And, um, and just and develop that physical mentality. It's still a work in progress, I would. 
Jared said that he thought that the line was, he didn't want to call them tougher because they're all tough guys, but he said they don't take crap from anyone now. Do you get that yeah, sense? Yeah, no, I definitely they're... get that sense. Yeah, I just think, I think it's just a little different mindset maybe than we've had up front for us, and I think that's good. I mean, I think that's what we needed. I think we needed to develop a little bit of toughness. And, and um, you know, I've always believed that, that those guys, you know, set the, set the pace for your entire <clears> football team in a lot of ways. Uh, your offensive line, it just what, whatever their makeup is, is, is seems to permeate your team and, and, and sets the tone in so many ways for your football team. And so for those guys to, to play with more confidence and to play more physical and play tougher and play with more certainty is certainly uh, a step in the right direction and I think will make a difference in our entire program. It seems like Matt and Addison are still kind of going out. Yeah, yeah, they're battling and a bunch of guys are battling. I mean, the Vinnie Johnson's really starting to make a move and do some good things. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Uh, you know, Cam Bennett, I think, is, is, has done some good things for a young guy. Um, you know, and so it's good to see guys out there improving. I mean, it really is. Uh, J.D. Hennett, somebody else who looks at, looks at times to make a move, just got to continue to, to, to develop consistency. But, um, but you know, I'm liking, I'm liking the competition at, at spots, and uh, I think it's making everybody better. Talk about those guys not taking crap. A couple of spats today. Would it would it almost be a bad thing if that never happened out at practice? Yeah, I mean it's just it's a it's the you don't want to see it. You know you don't want to see it. And we're better about not fighting all the time. You know we've had we've had periods here where we had you know too much of that stuff. And um, you know I like our approach a little bit more business like uh, up to this point than maybe we've had in the past. And I like that. I think it's again a sign of our maturity. But you know you, you also uh, you want to see guys competing, and sometimes that that carries over to something after the whistle. You don't want it, you know, but but I think at the same time, um, you know, you're a little bit concerned if you don't see guys going hard and competing. With guys like Trevor Kelly and then Jordan Rigsby nose to nose, <laughs> it's kind of tough yeah. to avoid with those yeah, two. No, you're gonna, yeah, at times, yeah, you're going to have some guys mix it up and, you know, typically it's Rigsby. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, it just is, you know, and, uh, but, but, you know, as I said, he's, you know, I, I've been really impressed with Jordan, you know, to me, uh, again, I think he's kind of indicative of our team. He's just grown up a little bit, and he's, um, you know, he's um, just mature and, and more focused and committed. And and so I think in a lot of ways, it's as I said earlier, it's, it's you know, I think it has an impact on everybody else. Have you guys been using a tight end more or looking at that a little bit? Yeah, we did it a lot in the fall. Uh, we, we're playing around with it. I mean, you know, the good thing is we've got some guys that can do it. Steven Anderson and Darius Powell, they're not your traditional tight ends, but they're also big enough to go in there and hold their own against guys. And so what I like about it is it gives us something that's hard to prepare for because you have the same personnel group in, in the game and you don't know if it's going to be a tight end set or a four wide receiver set. And, and so having that six-man blocking surface changes a lot of things for a defense and makes it tough to you know, be as predictable in some ways. And so it's something we, we played with last year. And as those guys have continued to get bigger and, and really develop into good players, I think we'll use it more and more. It seems like Hudson has, has t taken on. I mean, he, he's more of a traditional tight end to yeah, begin with. Yeah, I, th I mean, all those guys. I, I think, you know, Ray in some ways is. You know, Ray's is pro probably a little bigger than some of those guys. But, you know, you know, Steven Anderson is about as tough as anybody, and so is, so is Darius, really. Darius is a strong, big kid, and, and so between those three guys with Ray, and again, Ray's somebody who has really, in my opinion, taken the next step and has gotten better. Um, he's one of those guys that's really, I like his, I like the way he's playing. I mean, he's just, you know, he's consistent and, and knows what he's doing and does it with some attitude, and, and he's doing some good things. So, um, you know, I like to see that. Um, uh, but, but again, we've got three guys that, you know, are big enough to, they're not your traditional guys, but they're probably big enough to go in there and hold their own. What are the kicker situation? What have been your thoughts on that so far? Early, you know, it's early. Uh, they've they all had their moments. You know, today wasn't our best. You know, we didn't kick very well today. Um, but, you know, I thought Matt Anderson really kicked well early and then, you know, kind of went through a little funk and then kicked better uh, Monday than he did today. Um, Cervenka's, you know, been pretty consistent most of the time. Um, and so, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of, you know, keep seeing, you know, McInerney hit the field goal at the end today, which was good to see. And, and Robbie's a guy that, you know, um, we'll, we'll continue to, to get more and more reps. He's just got to get a little bit stronger. But, you know, I like, the, I like those guys. I mean, I think there's, again, there's some, there's some uh, confidence with the group and there's some competition. And we're still, in my opinion, a long way away from being settled. You know, I think that'll go into fall camp, and, and um, but you know, we'll kind of see what happens between now and then. It's kind of funny you see Jared there directing now, guys like Ross and, and yeah, working with him. Yeah, it's good to see. I mean, it's just you know, we've come a long way. You know, and and um, it's 
good to see that. And, and you know, man, those young quarterbacks have been good. I mean, those guys have – we hadn't missed a beat. So I've been really encouraged with both of them. And, um, and so it, it is good to see. I mean, it's good to see all these guys coaching the younger guys, and that's what you want to see. That's when you start to have a good program is when – the older guys, you know, have some initiative and and want to correct the younger guys, and, and they know what they're doing well enough and have enough confidence in order to be able to do it. So that's always a sign of a, of a you know a young football team growing up is when you know the older guys are starting to coach the younger ones.